Smoke and dust are blanketing Central California. Air pollution is a chronic problem in the San Joaquin Valley, but it is now reaching levels unlike any previously seen. With no measurable rainfall in weeks and little chance of rain in the forecast, there is no end in sight. I am joined now by PBS NewsHour community reporter Crescencio Rodriguez Delgado, who's in Fresno. Crescencio, thank you so much for talking with us about this. Tell us what it was like in the San Joaquin Valley this week when this dust storm happened. Well, Judy, uh, this was on Monday, and we knew that there was a possibility of high winds on Monday because the National Weather Service had put out a advisory saying that there was going to be high winds, and they raised the fire threat to critical in the entire Central Valley. So what we saw on Monday was uh, winds of up to 40 miles per hour in some parts, uh, trees were toppled, uh, electricity was was uh, cut off in many communities, and there was grass fires that were started uh, in some places uh, that firefighters quickly extinguished. Um, but the situation also led to visibility of up to uh, one mile in some places. Um, and the local National Weather Service said that some places even had zero visibility uh, because of the heavy dust that was blown uh, because of a storm system that was dry and that came from the Pacific Northwest. So how did this affect uh, the lives of people who live there? Well, this um, it, the air quality has been a challenge for quite some time now uh, because the there have been some wildfires that have also been uh, sending smoke into the valley. So we had had a few days of clean air, blue skies, but this dust storm uh, created um, dust from as far north as Sacramento down to Bakersfield, and it was visible from space satellite. And so uh, th this was a very concerning situation for a lot of people because there is the possibility of um, illnesses that come from the, um, the dust that is spread across, uh, one being uh, valley fever. Um, and doctors um, and air officials here uh, issued an alert and told residents, stay indoors. If you have to go out, wear a mask. Um, but that was the same situation that residents had faced previously before um, a storm system cleared these, the previous smoke. And, and we know this all is taking place at a time when there's worry already existing about climate change and what that's going to, to mean uh, for the area. How does this fit into that picture. So what observers tell me here is that they are noticing that these wildfires, such as the KMP complex fire and the windy fire burning in the Sequoia National Forest, um, are arriving earlier and the fires are sending much more smoke into the region. And doctors and residents here say they've never seen these levels of smoke um, or pollution arrive in their communities. And so the um, there is this an, an overlap that advocates say um, they're seeing with particle pollution arriving much earlier in the hot summer months um, at a time when the ozone pollution is typically forming. And so this overlap of pollution is concerning to people um, and advocates point to climate change as a factor, um, also considering that this uh, drought that California is in is uh, allowing these fires to continue to spark uh, in many parts of the state. It sounds like people are dealing with a lot. Crescenzio Rodriguez Delgado, thank you very much for your reporting. Thank you, Judy. And you can read Crescenzio's full report on our website. That's pbs.org slash newshour.